it's one of the biggest I got. Yes, a big one. A nice one. Really good strikes, especially from big fish. Oh. You saw two nice fish in the beginning. Okay, okay. Not bad, eh? Five strikes of smaller albacores and a dead uh, cormoran. We can see the mark that tried to hit the rocks and in a very difficult position. From now on, you are going to see me releasing even more. Mm. Mm -hmm. A dead seagull. <laughs> wow. I know that you, many of you guys, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you very much for the huge support on my last video. Uh, today we are going to talk on a very sensitive uh, uh, thing that sometimes we ignore. The thing with short jiggers is that they always try to follow the basic rules. But sometimes you should uh, try to uh, act out of the box. Uh, what I want to say is that, uh, yes, we love foam, we definitely love foam, we love the waves, we love the crashing waves under our feet, this makes very good conditions for fishing in general. So, winter is coming, Ooh. and uh, this is why I wanted to release this video early, because winter is a season that could be very easy and also very hard not only because of the conditions but because of the fish in general I love winter a season that you can really have lots of fun with many fishing styles especially with short jigging what are we going to see today? we are going to try short jigging in calm conditions and here is the catch you mostly want to go to places that you have the wind in your face. <laughs> Is this the way? Uh, for sure, for sure, in the waves you can have some really good strikes, especially from big fish. But, especially, especially in the winter, bait fish want to go to protected areas to find refuge and not spend a lot of energy. Big fish have to do the same in order to feed. So, even if in uh, autumn, spring and summer, calm conditions and wind on the back are not the ideal conditions to go short jigging, in winter might be. We love waves. We love to see the wave come smashing under our feet. That, in most of the times, Huh? 
nice bonito. But is this the only way? Let's see the other side of the coin. Dinner. Oh, a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. And it's not very well hooked. And I don't have with me. It's a big one. And I don't have with me the net. So it's going to cut me. Monster. This, look at this beast guys, look at this beautiful beast, a monster, it's a monster, it's one of the biggest I got the last, uh, the last six months, it's a monster, look at the size, monstrous bara, this is what we're going to see today, winter is coming, we should be prepared, I will try both, area and uh, the calm area because uh, it's true that this season the fish oh a dead seagull Whoa. poor poor dead seagull well this uh, time of the year uh, in uh, more uh, rough conditions you can't get a big fish it's true, but the if you want to have a, a bit of more fun, then you might need to focus on the calm area. And why is that? It's true. Oh, come on! And a dead uh, cormoran. What the? Come on, eh? What's uh, what's wrong here? Death uh, is out for a stroll. Let's hope I won't end up like the birds. <laughs> anyway, what I was telling is that the fish, the, the bait fish, might find the refugee in the calmer area. And that sometimes really pays off. You will notice that all day there is wind and we are fishing on the places that the wind is on our back so we have uh, calm conditions in front of us why we did that because bait fish were constantly in these areas so if there is the rule that we should fish against wind if the bait fish are in another place then we have to follow the bait fish because bait fish are always above the, all the other rules you know. Eventually, our jig is a bait fish and the bigger predators know where to find it, close to the other bait fish. But the tides, yes, these uh, are... Uh, they are, eh?
No, no. Okay. Oops. Maybe. Uh, it's an albacore, maybe, but probably it's a big one. Yes. Uh, yes. Stranger and in a very difficult position. No outside there. But Joe, better take it out first. Yeah, bonito. No, no, it's not. It's not, but I cannot see from here. Yes, a big one. A nice one. Not, not. One more time. Okay. Punk. Ah! Of course. <laughs> Last moment, huh? Yeah. Anyway, it was a nice size. So, bye bye Albacore, it left and it was actually the first cast in a moment that it's really really quiet, I mean uh, we're fishing something like uh, six days and uh, we had probably no more than five strikes of smaller Albacores and today first cast an Albacore something around five six kilos said bye bye <laughs> that's the game we have to deal with that let's see what will happen what i want to say is that uh, okay we check the conditions and we go with calm sea ah uh, as i said uh, you should go fishing anytime you have an opportunity but if you can if you are eligible to uh, choose when to go uh maybe windy days but with the wind on our back and if it's possible, if you have uh, the ability on the same spot to fish both sides against and with the wind on the back, you see the hunting. You should try. Sometimes I'm very sure you are going to be surprised. Let's see a fishing day focusing on the calmer areas. Oh probably, but. Okay. What color are you using, Joe, now? Put a sardine. It's not like the other, eh? it's much smaller, but... Come up. It's a small amberjack. A baby amberjack. So they are here. Come, 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 come. Hello, baby amberjack. And Joe, it was really in mid waters. So they are very, very active. It was not uh, near the bottom that they are usually are. I will release you instantly. 
Bye bye. I'm pretty sure that most of you uh, remember me keeping every fish I was catching. Of course, the last years you can see me releasing, and from now on you are going to see me releasing even more. I think we should all try to release as many fish as possible. During this time of the year, the action of the jig should be more or less fast depending to the species that you are focusing. If you focus for amberjacks and albacores and bonitos, a fast, lively action is what you really need to do. Okay, okay. Uh, Amber Jack again. Mm. Uh, I think, eh? Same. Under the rocks, under the rocks. Holy! Hmm. Okay. I know that you, many of you guys, hold the sizes of one kilo and more. This is something like a one kilo and three hundred grams. Don't, please, don't. I know you are very tender. But we. Most of the strikes this day occurred in the change of the direction of the, of the currents from low to high and uh, high to low. If you haven't seen my video regarding the currents, you should watch. It's right there. Click when you finish this video, not now, and you will understand how conditions can affect positive or negative our fishing and find what is the best day for fishing on that video To be honest, in a place like that, I feel much better than the yesterday second place. Eh? It was feeling very depressing, eh?
Yes. At this moment, the currents are changing. Look what is going to happen now. But eventually in a day like this and this time of the year, an octopus could, could Inside. Okay. Okay. Shame. hooks inside stay still and here we can also see that it ran to the rocks and hit we can see the mark of hitting the rocks can, can, let's see it okay we can see the mark that tried to hit the rocks to be released but didn't make it of course if it was a bigger fish it would have a better chances a very nice fish it has a bite here a, a bite mark you can see the bite mark guys here i love winter <laughs> i really love winter <laughs>
full of blood, eh? But I cannot release, it's uh, already full in blood, you see? And all this with a piece of metal. It's crazy, eh? <laughs> the currents are going to drop now in order to change direction. We have one hour of good fishing. Give me a fish or I'll tell the seagull to shed on your head. Wow! On the fall, eh? Oh -ho! On the fall. Eh, probably, yes. Absolutely an albacore. Yeah. Sardine slider and bloody assist hooks is a, whew, a guarantee for getting fish on the fall. Come here, albacore. Don't deny your date with me. I wanna have sweet love with you. Come on, come on. I will give you a kiss and I will release you because you seem small. But you are a true fighter. A true fighter. Okay, okay, okay. You wanna go to the rocks, sir? But this is what snappers are doing N not the uh, good aleteratos oh wow it's not that small eh? point and totally in the face in the mouth yep okay let's send this baby home okay wow Keep in mind that the most important bait fish during winter is sardine. Of course, other types of uh, bait fish do occur, like uh, bogas and other small bait fish, but the most important is sardine. And sometimes a sardine looking jig is what will make the difference in most occasions. There's the... What? And then one. Grab the... Grab one more. And you feel it or not? Now not. Oh. I was relieved, like, okay. No, I feel it. No, the tides are stream, eh? Yes, now yes. The tires are like this are extreme. That's why when I cast it like that, it was uh, very nice, uh, very easy. Uh, 
I thought I was supposed to smuggle. Look. Yes. Yep. Okay. As you said, f***ing tides. Yes, yes, yes. They become more and more... I have got something. Maybe... Maybe a piece of bottom, huh? But, but it swims. But it swims, sir. Yes, it swims. Yes. Absol absolutely not. Uh, but let me come closer to you. Maybe uh, an albacore. Or there is drip. Yes, sir. Another one behind it. Look. Actually. I'm here, you will be released. Uh, toink, toink. Wait, 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 because if you want to be alive, you have to look how it was hooked uh, on the head. So it bites during a super fast retrieve. Yes. Bye bye. You know, save the jig. So guys, the day finished here, I really need uh, you to comment if you enjoyed it or not, because uh, you saw two nice fish in the beginning, but they were not part of that day. We had a lot of strikes with Giuseppe, but we didn't kept not a single fish. So most fish were up to one, one and a half kilo. Do you consider a day like that? Successful or a fail? Please comment now. I really need to know the way you are thinking. Please also don't forget to subscribe. It's the biggest help you can provide me. I do the best I can for you and it's the least you can do for me. By subscribing to my channel helps me and motivates me to work even harder. Thank you very much for your time guys. Be strong, be safe, tight lines and during winter, don't forget to fish also in calm areas. See you soon.